What is up, everyone? It's your girl, JJ. And we are here to talk about, actually, two things, but I decided to combine it as one. So it's streaming to zero viewers, as well as how much should you be reliant on your viewers? So the reason why I decided to combine these is because I feel like the reason why people want a lot of people watching is because they want someone to talk to. But sometimes you're not gonna get that because let's just say you do hypothetically get like 10 people. They could all be the type of people who likes to watch what you do but don't like to actually talk. That's why I would say I'm combining them both because you don't wanna be reliant on your viewers, but you do want to interact with them. So what I mean by that is like, let's say you do a whole stream, right? And you get one person talking to you and you just talk to them and you don't contribute anything else. It was just like, well, for a whole hour, I was just completely quiet. But like, but then like, when it comes to actually, like let's say you're gonna make a video out of it, you would just only be having that point in time where you're talking to that person because it's like, well, not, none of that other stuff is gonna really be so fun unless it's like a video you wanna stream and then upload to a channel as a playthrough but with no commentary or like if you are once again as i mentioned before like a super pro at it then i believe that's the case where you wouldn't want to be so or you don't have to be so like talkative or interactive but when it comes to the reliancy of your viewers i feel like if you don't have anything to say then it's like why are you streaming but at the same time i can understand as someone who didn't have anything to say for years and just wanted to have um people chat with me because i'm just like i want to talk but like that's not gonna really have people you know if you're, you're quiet it's like why why should i talk to you and not someone else like you know do you want that peril socialness or is it because you know you're fine with like chatting with someone while playing this game because you would play this game regardless like for me i will stream a game because it's a game i feel like i was gonna play regardless if i had someone in chat however like i could understand like matt let's just say like the newest game comes out as i mentioned like, in my previous videos persona 3 reload and you're like uh i mean i want to play the game but you don't want to spend that money it's like well it is popular at the time, so that could potentially give you people to come in because they see you play a game that they're interested in seeing. But then it's that case, well, why do they want to see you play instead of playing it themselves or going to some other chat to interact with? So that's something I uh, just, just learned recently because I started trying to go for other people I was already aware of stream and people who are like smaller and if like they're small, you know, you will give them a few minutes to be like, oh wait, I didn't look at chat this whole time. Sorry about that. They'll give you a response. But the thing is like, when it comes to like chat, they want responses quick. They're like, you know, let's just say they give you like a minute to respond because of that 30 second delay that y'all have. Happy birthday to your sister, by the way, Coco. Hope she has a good one. Then they're gonna be like, oh, well, they're not chatting with me, so why am I watching it anyways? It's like, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> it's like, well, GG, it's like, oh, hello. I mean, there are cases where you're like, oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I was in the restroom, I couldn't help it. So like, they weren't talking cause they're on pause, which, uh, I remember those days, I was just like, uh, I'm so upset <laughs> because I would, be on twitch and i wouldn't get anyone talking to me and then i would finally get someone talking to me but i couldn't interact with them because they had just left i was just like i'm so sorry Ugh. so it's like oh no i need <laughs> i need to like figure out how to get that person back but it is probably it's done it's done <laughs> you can't do anything like obviously maybe they might give you a second chance if they just follow you just to follow um, but like, let's just say it's like an elevator pitch 
where people say that they'll give you a minute, but let's just be realistic. Sometimes the elevator ride is only like 10 to 15 seconds. So it's basically a 10 to 15 second pitch you're doing when it comes to Twitch. Like someone will click on your video and if you don't have ads, if you have ads, you're probably gonna lose them because they're like, I don't even know you, I'm watching an ad. So they're like, they're gonna click on your video. They're gonna see how you start off and they're gonna first judge your voice or your appearance because that is what people do. And if they don't like it, like the audio is bad or your voice just kind of does not rub them the right way. They're gonna be like, oh, I can't bear to see this anymore. And then also, like, if you're the type of person, if you don't do a lot of editing and you're more of the face-to-face faces, like, I am, like, I'm talking to you guys. I'm not really, um, making a lot of editing in my video because it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I entertaining enough without editing? Because if I'm not, it's like, mm, then how am I supposed to, um, be very entertaining when it comes to just live stream because i'm not gonna do all that editing while i'm live streaming am i no I, I could do editing while i'm like you know recording a video but unless i have like producers or i have certain hotkeys where i could edit or change my stinger then it's like hey you're either gonna see me or the video or the game and that's about it so let's see streaming to zero Oh, that is one of the hardest things to be doing. Oh my goodness, even to this day I be doing that. <laughs> it's like you can stream to one or two people and you're like, oh, we can have a good time, but how am I supposed to get that to the point where other people are gonna start joining me? And I wish I have an answer for you to that, but I sadly don't. I sadly don't have that answer yet because I usually stream to like one or two people on Twitch, on YouTube, I might get up to five on like a normal day, but it's like, mm, even if you do stream to like, let's say five people, you gotta be thinking about how many of those are actually gonna be an active chatter. Cause some people might just wanna listen to you and other people wanna be like, oh, um, entertain me. And I hope she liked her gift, Coco Lemon. So what's another thing you could do if that's the case? Well, as I had mentioned before in a previous video of, you know, how to talk to yourself, I think another way to go over the streaming thing is, you know, if you have a friend, um, it doesn't have to be like where they're in chat. They could either, okay, honestly, never mind. They could either be someone who is chatting to you physically via like Discord or something some type of place where they could chat and other people can hear you or they could be via in the chat themselves be like oh awesome oh this stream is so fun da, da, da. you know just to be like get that hype that sense of hype like oh my goodness i'm making it i gotta do it a difference but just know like you know if that's your if it's your friends then it's like well are they going to be in every one of your streams they might not so it's like you know that's kind of also being a bit reliant and i don't know if that's a good idea but I think like starting off, if that's what helps you, that's what helps you. Also, just don't even look at the fact that it says zero if you can. I unfortunately can't because I have to make sure everything's set up and based on like my monitors and whatnot, I only have a few different <laughs> ways to do it. So definitely have like something where you can either cover your views or you can like have like a fake counter, but it doesn't affect like the terms and services of like YouTube or Twitch. So, I mean, if I if it, if I had to put in like a Reddit perspective too long does not does not read or what was it called? TDRL something like that or too long TLDR. I don't know. I don't know how the short term. Y'all can tell me. But I would say number 1 is be interactive, but don't be reliant. Number two, have a possible support system where they will help you get comfortable in either talking to chat or to yourself or just like having something to think of talking about. Um, and the third one would be, if it helps maybe, I didn't 
really expand about with it because I'll do it in a different video is maybe have a script or like a uh, piece of paper that can show you like what you can talk about because um honestly I'm looking at this as we were speaking it's not really a word by word ba basis but it's just a few ideas on what I feel like I can talk about such as the unsuccessful job market or why is relationships tough or the downfall of vtubers or youtubers like i have a, quite a few things i could talk about but you know what do i want to talk about currently so i i felt like that's helpful because it's spitballing ideas that i will probably forget in the future and oh this is something that someone just reminded me which is why i'm streaming this <laughs> from ir and potato it's remember that even if you do have a viewer do not call them out if they're a lurker because you know sometimes they might just want to hear you but they don't want to you know actually chat and that is going to be stressful on them and they might not come back because you're calling them that don't get me wrong i think i did that before in the past <laughs> and you do not want to follow that mistake again just just be like hope anyone in the chat if there's anyone in the chat i hope you're having a good day you know also feel free to chat if you'd like to but it's not necessary so I believe those are all the tips I could give you about how to stream um, as zero viewers or how you should be, if you should be reliant or dependent or independent of your viewers. <clears throat> That's it for me. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. If you think these are good info if you think there's something i should uh make note of or even um comment further on or even advice make sure to share it down in the comments let me know how you think i'm doing anywho with that being said this is jj beats signing out and hopefully we could rise become the biggest streamer one day Bye bye